All right. This video is just going to be a highlight of all the things that I brought back with me from our Germany trip in uh, August of 2016. I don't know. I don't know when I'm going to upload this, but I want to do another separate video. Well, a series of separate videos on the experience I had with the tour that uh, my family and I took and uh, places we went, things I would do again, things I probably wouldn't do again, um, things I learned, and so that's going to be a whole nother series. I, again, uh, I've taken a step back from making videos and posting videos, so it may be a while. You could be seeing this a year after <laughs> the trip, but that's okay. You'll see it eventually. Uh, so this video, I'm just going to highlight the things I brought back. I'm trying to keep it short. <laughs> um, and I'm going to try to go as chronologically as, as I can remember. Uh, but just to kind of hit the highlights of what what I bought, when, and where. It's going to be a little bit off. I'm going to try to roll in some pictures of uh, when I was actually there. Or some clips of videos of when I was actually there. So, let's get started. Uh, first, when we got there, my son was sick. So we went to the... To the uh, apothecary or, or apothecary, whatever they call it, their, their pharmacy, equivalent of a pharmacy, and uh, we got them. Uh, uh, these, uh, it's got some acetaminophen, uh, ibuprofen, and pseudofibrinolactone fluid, <laughs> and it's from Vix, but they spell it with a W, so it's WIC to us, but it's actually pronounced Vix. Um, they're just little little tablets, and what the uh, uh, pharmacist said was these are mainly, um, her words, she said, they make you healthy, they don't make you fit, or they make you fit, but not, anyway, they, it, it gives you energy, and it's pain reliever, and these are pretty cool. They're, I, don't, I don't have the pills with me. They, they come in little foil um, bubble packs, but uh, these really, really help. Um, he also had a little bit of indigestion. And they are really into these drops there. They have bottles. Uh, the medicine comes in drops. Um, my son also had kind of an earache, so they gave him some other uh, to take orally uh, drops. So these are drops for your stomach. And he has some other drops to help with his earache. You don't put the drops in your ears. You, you take them with the drink. So I haven't tried this. Um, they don't taste very good, but in the liquid form they work very fast. So the first souvenir we really bought <clears throat> were chocolates. We went to this famous chocolate store. Um, we were in um, Frankfurt first. Um, <clears throat> oh, maybe these were first. Anyway, but anyway, we went to Frankfurt, did some shopping, then I think Berlin we got, uh, there was a really famous shop, chocolate shop in Berlin. And so I got uh, this um, sample pack. I'm gonna take these to work, but they're you know they're really cool. Uh, There's a picture. I'm not gonna open it here. This is for work. And a little chocolate, <clears throat> and uh, here's some pictures of the sh of that chocolate shop. So that'd be something kind of nice to take to work. Um, breakfast. At the hotels, uh, here's some video of the breakfast at the hotels. So they're pretty standard fare. You got scrambled eggs, bacon, some kind of sausage, and it's uncanny. There, they, you know, the layout is different, but all the food is pretty much basically the same. But um, <laughs> they give these little Nutella or Nutella packs, and uh, we kind of uh, brought some with us. Um, they don't like you taking food out of the dining area or out of the breakfast area, but uh, if you're discreet about it, they're not going to stop you. Um, they also give you these crackers and stuff. Uh, one place, instead of getting mints on your pillow, you got little gummy bear packs on your pillow. So this is, and we got that. I, I told uh, Hashnasi about these. They have these little packs uh, that in the little coffee sugar condiment things with sugar and cream and stuff but these are sweeteners and they come in these little paper packs there's all different varieties this bag is the stuff 
that they give you uh, in the room. Ooh, I got a coaster. Ah, Berliner Pilsner. Should have got more of these. So they got teas and stuff like that. Uh, their sugar comes in these little sticks. Um, we're probably more used to sugar in like this, but their sugar comes in packs like this. Yeah, one hotel we stayed at, we got gummy sheep. <laughs> Here's another one of those little sugar packs, and they're just little tablets, and you can buy them in these big dispensers. So I really like these. I I, uh, I kind of happened on these in Switzerland, um, but I really like them. So. Oh, I got teas. These are some teas. Speaking of tea, went to the grocery store and I got this um, green tea, but it's shaped like gunpowder, so they call it gunpowder tea. I also encountered this first in Switzerland, and I really liked it. I haven't been able to find it here in the States, and the gunpowder tea I found in the States doesn't smell the same and doesn't taste the same, so hopefully this is, this is the same stuff that I had in Switzerland very similar to the stuff I had in Switzerland. Uh, another thing about the apothecary is um, these are electrolyte packs and really good for traveling um, if, before you go or after you get there if you get dehydrated. Um, you can buy these little uh, powder packs, you put them in water uh, it says 200 liters or two, two tenths of a liter, two mil 200 milliliters of water so probably like a, a, a eight ounce glass of water, and you put this in there. It tastes kind of like um, uh, Gatorade, you know, like electrolyte. Kind of like the Power C that we get here in the States. Um, but these are good. It comes in a little box like this. I don't know how much they cost, but you know, when you're feeling miserable, it, you pretty much wouldn't mind paying anything, really. Other things I got but didn't necessarily buy <laughs> I got these uh, do not disturb hangers from the uh, from the hotels they're kind of cool little souvenirs kind of on you budget travelers stayed at the best restaurant and also it reminds you of what hotels you stayed at and uh, you can write little notes on them if you want add a holiday in there holiday Inn was actually pretty nice or, or was it no it was the best western the best western we stayed at and the Black Forest was a really, really nice hotel, and uh, you'll see that coming up. Uh, Ibis, this is probably one of the worst hotels we stayed at. It was tiny, uh, no internet to speak of. Um, Leonardo was good. Leonardo Hotel was pretty cool. I liked it. Uh, park Plaza was eh, average. Um, there's another Park Plaza. Oh, here's another thing we bought. Uh, I can't remember we got these, but I think these were in Frankfurt. Um, these are famous gingerbread cookies. Uh, they're not crispy cookies. They're kind of spongy. They're almost like a brownie. Uh, and there's a, you can see the kind of whitish or off-white color. That's rice rice paper or, or kind of like a rice. Yeah, it's rice paper, but uh, not like Vietnamese rice paper. It's, it, it's like a flaky pastry that you can eat. But these are really good. They come in, uh, this is chocolate covered, and they come in just regular gingerbread um, flavor. I can't remember the name of the, of the town. I think it was Rotenburg, Rottenburg, Rotenburg, that they have uh, a shop with a bunch of these wines here. And uh, they, ha they have bigger bottles. I just got a small bottle to bring back. Uh, and um, I, there's a lot of wine and, and vineyards in southern Germany. Surprisingly enough, um, you know, we think more of European wines as, uh, as uh, French wines, but uh, apparently really good German wines. And they come in these uh, iconic pear-shaped or round bottom bottles here. So I got a, got a bottle of that. We go to grocery stores, there's all, I mean, Haribo is kind of like the Hershey's <laughs> or the, uh, the candy maker not chocolate maker, but just general gummy maker uh, of the world, really. And they have all different varieties. And these are cream-backed Harry Bow Bears. Um, I got some Harry Bow pasta flags. And uh, they're fizzy. 
I haven't tried these. These would be kind of interesting to try. Um, and I bought these, brought these back a while ago when my kids were so small. They really love these. These are Happy Colas. I think they're kind of root beer flavored. And then uh, Kinder. Everybody's heard of Kinder eggs. They're illegal in America. But uh, you can actually get the Kinder chocolates in these uh, single piece chocolate uh, bags here. 200 gram bags. Uh, and these are pretty reasonable. When you, if you go to the store, if you go to like a convenience store, they're like two dollars or two fifty euros, two two euro fifty cent euro. Anyway, and, but if you go to the grocery store, these are only one euro or ninety nine. Actually, these are like ninety nine, ninety five euro, point nine five cents, euro cents. So, pretty cool. In Berlin. A lot of a lot of things to look at, buy, and do in Berlin. Um, too much to talk about in this video, but um, I just and, and everything's expensive in Berlin. Uh, they have these gift shops everywhere, and I got the uh, deck of playing cards. These were pretty reasonable. I think these were like three bucks, uh, three or four bucks, something like that. And uh, they say Berlin on them. I don't know how cheesy they are, but they got pictures of Berlin in them. And they've got also uh, <laughs> caught my eye uh, windproof lighters. Uh, that's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> they have these windproof lighters. Yeah, they don't sound very good because uh, they got the little plaque on them. But I'm guessing, yeah, they're just glued. They probably buy these and glue. Yeah, it's not even very well glued. And they're made by. Starry, S T A R I. I don't know. You read that. So they're cool. They're reasonably priced. Um, just something, a little souvenir. You know, if you don't look at the bottom of it, you won't know it's a real. It's, it's not a real one. <clears throat> Hi, folks. Thanks for watching. I'd like to invite you to watch this other video and help support us in our mission in any way you can. Thanks and take care.